Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's me and Emily. Hey. And we're going to be taste testing, well, she's gonna be taste yeah. testing the Hungarian snacks that I brought back. And I'm wearing my Budapest shirt, look at that. Yeah. And yeah. Alrighty, so here are some of the things. We've got the ball of sticks, or like they're the Tesco brand, which is one of the big stores in Hungary. We got Cine Mini bars. Cine Mini. And so it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal bars, Corny bars, Balotone bars, Milky Way, Mars. We're gonna taste test these against Milky Way here in America. We got Mounds, which are almost like European Starbursts. We got these Hippo Kinder. I love them. <laughs> uh, we got the Elephant Chips, very good as well. We've got some Dames. And we've got some squish choki chigas in here. And then we've got some pogachas. Wait, and tea. And tea. I can't forget about tea. And we've got over there the Coke. We're gonna taste test between the two. And then we've got some bake rolls as well. Cool. But yeah, so there's our selection and we'll get to taste testing. Game plan will be that we're gonna go with the, the pogachas and the choki chigas. Nice. Pogachas are just kind of like uh, mm, that's good, isn't it? It's kind of like cheese bread. Reminds me of something. Should I heat it up, toast it, microwave it? No. No. All right. So, what I like to do is I like to kind of separate it since it's kind of in layers. So it's like this. What'd you do? I messed up. And me and Eliza, my sister, like the bottom part more but my dad likes the top, so oh, we okay. can. I love full boxes. Very good. What does it remind me of? <laughs> full boxes for me. <laughs> so good. So there's like kind of cheese melted on top, but it's also kind of like cheese infused. What do you think about it? It's pretty good. It's salty. Pretty salty. It. But it's pretty good, yeah. So I don't good. know. I think the top and bottom each have their own things to offer. This one's nice and squishy. This one has like, the cheese. No, the bottom's the best. What, well, top or bottom? I don't know. They're kind of the same, to be honest. Why? <laughs> She's lying. They taste the same. They're both very good. Nice, nice pastry. I'm not Mary Berry. I'm not good at analyzing this stuff. Did you just say Mary Berry? Mary Berry from the Great British Baking Show. I love that show. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the chocolatillas. Mm. They're very squished. They're kind of like chocolate know. cinnamon rolls. Which one do you want? Let's squish it or non squish? Use it or non squish? Oh, thank you. So sweet. Whoa, okay. All right. All right. But how do you eat this? Do you unroll it and eat yeah, it? Yeah, you just unroll take it. Bite? Mine, you can't really unroll. Ooh, it smells like chocolate. What? <laughs> Did I just miss what you had explained? It's okay. What? What did you say? It's okay. What this is you... good. No, what did you say? What did you say? I thought it was like a chocolate cinnamon roll. Oh, I did not hear it. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> I just totally like blocked that out. So me and Eliza <laughs> like these for breakfast along with the pogachos. It should be good with milk. We can have the other one, the other parts of it with milk later. Mm -hmm. I feel like they would also be really a lot better. Like they're good, but a lot better like fresh. And oh warm. yeah, for sure. No, not having travel like do across the country. I tried to get it that way, but... Pretty good. I really like this, actually. You really like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like a chocolate croissant. Yeah, it's like a chocolate croissant. But... But cinnamon roll-esque. It's a cinnamon roll, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, it has like a like All right, a so now we're going to be trying the Cine Mini Bars, which is like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's just a cereal bar. Okay. Hmm. I'm 
Oh, milk base, whatever that means. That's all right. I, mean, I don't know. It does not taste like a protein bar or a candy bar. It's just it's a cereal bar. It's like I do these Water. games. It is. It's like butterscotch in the middle, and it's just covered in chocolate. So like Heath bars. Yep. I should have gotten Heath bar. We could have compared. Tastes like a heat bar. Tastes like a heat bar. Pretty good though. Yeah. Alrighty, so now we're gonna do the Kinder yeah. Happy Hippo. This is one of my favorites. And we'll take it out of the package. Yeah, you can have that one. I have coffee. Ooh, I have coffee in my teeth. Ooh, I have coffee in my teeth. Very crumbly. Ooh, it is. Oh, now the butt's coming off. But look how cute he is! Look how cute he is! Alright. And then. The, the head first? The snout. The, sh the snout. Mm hmm. Oh. And there's like chocolate on the moon. It's like those, um. What are those? The long stick things with chocolate in them. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know, this is so good. It's hazelnut. Yeah, pretty good. But it reminds me of those, what are they called? People buy them at like Christmas time. And they come usually in like the cylinder tube things. Yeah, but these are way better. And they're in the shape of hippos. Why? H happy hippo. Mm, okay. All questions answered. <laughs> that was really good. Mm. Alright, so in my other vlog when I was going downtown, I had the Elefante chips. Which are they're just like squish pretzels. Oh, it's a Mm-hmm. But they're kind of like Swedish. Yeah, they are sweet. And they have a really good apple taste too. They're almost more like cookies. Like cookies? But... Are they dipping them in yogurt? That would be good. We can do that later if you want. Is that yogurt? I'm assuming it's yogurt. Could be any white thing. I don't know, like sour cream, but I don't need to be dipping these in sour cream. Mm -mm. We'll be trying these mound blocks. They're they're kind of like they're kind of like Starburst. So we've got. Is this root beer? No, it's cola. Mm. What's right. cola? Like? Cola flavored like Coke. So we've got strawberry. It should be root beer flavored. We've got what is this? Really raspberry? Yeah, raspberry. 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 Orange. Orange glass. Lemon. Mm. And what Ooh, Emily's I mean, opening is cola. Should be root beer. I love root beer flavored stuff. It's good. It's good. I know, but root beer is an American thing. They don't I drink root know. beer really much it's abroad. It's sad. Root beer is amazing. But you guys like, what is it? Grape flavored things? I know you do. Like How is that a broad thing? I like the taste of grape. But like, grape candy is not good. I think it tastes kind of good. Mm. It tastes like like that grape cough syrup. Like, that See, that's the thing. Up. The cough syrup overseas tastes like root beer. That would be nice. So I never had the the bad tasting grape stuff. But yeah, so they're they're very very small. I really want like. Well, we have to open all of them. This is going to be an ordeal. It's a speed open. Who's going to do it first? <laughs> no, 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 no. Who's going to do it first? No, no, I'm messing uh, up more. Uh, I did it! That was very Wait. close. Alright, so we've, we've got the lemon, <laughs> cola, the raspberry, and the orange. And um, did I say strawberry? We have strawberry too. <laughs> but yeah, so they're kind of white, so they're not really like the color like the Starburst star for the packages. So like... You dink. could dink. <laughs> dink and dink. Are how how different are they? Not very different. They are the same color. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. But this one is so strawberry. Is <laughs> like, and you have lemon. I have lemon. Mm. More chewy. Mm-hmm. 
a little, little less, a little less flavor. Yeah, but you can eat like a lot of them and not feel bad about it. it Reminds me of a Fruit Loop. Kinda. Mm. This one's orange. I've not eaten a lot of Fruit Loops in my life. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a Fruit Loop. It just tastes fruity. No. What ones do I have? So that one is orange. What if I mix them up? Oh, and you're gonna you're gonna taste test and. Oh yeah. All right. We can't see. We can't tell. Let's see. Which one did I get? Guess. You have a one out of three chance. Cola. I don't know. It must be cola. No. Look at you. One for one. Do the other ones. <laughs> this one's lemon. I'm just gonna take one. Wait. No. <laughs> you ate lemon. I already first. ate lemon. <laughs> That one, that one's orange, obviously. Oh, obviously. Give me a second. This will be a little bit. Can you not want one? Alright, I'm gonna give you a random one. That's not gonna work, so you're gonna do the wrapper. They're, they're, they're just good. Alright, wait, wait, you gotta guess. Alright, which one am I gonna eat? That one. Orange. What is it? Orange? I still have the cold taste in my mouth. Why does it taste like nothing? I think it's... No, I think it's orange. Yeah, it's yeah. raspberry. Let's go! It's three for three! Three okay, for three. Well, I mean, obviously three for three, because... Well, I got two of them, and they're all mm -hmm. the same color. So. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. We got Mars bars, which basically are Milky Way bars. So Emily, after her shift today, she went up and picked picked up the, the Milky Ways. Target, Target. And we're also gonna compare them to this Milky Way. So they look distinctively different because they taste distinctively different. But these ones don't look that different. They actually look very similar. But this is a fun size. So which one do we eat? This is this is the Mars bar. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much Milky Way. Mm -hmm. Isn't it a Milky Way? Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Just like the cross section. Mm-hmm. Can't really tell that much. Milky Way is slightly sweeter, but it's slightly a little bit more caramel. In proportion. I thought maybe I had it, a lot of caramel for the Mars bar. Maybe it's just that this Mars bar is smushed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. And then. Oh, that looks. Talk about smushed. <laughs> uh, I'll have the smushed part. Very different. So. Oh, it has a lot of nougat. Yeah, and it's not really caramelly at all. I still taste caramel. Because. I mean, it's almost caramel. It's almost like a Three Musketeer. You had a Three Musketeer? I like, I actually like the Milky Way bar the best. It's like a Three Musketeer. You know, just the nougat. Except that a Three Musketeer, I think, is slightly different. Does this have, like, caramel in the nougat? Like, caramel? It must be. It tastes really good. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. Alrighty, now we're gonna go on to the Balotone bars, Balotone Boom to be, uh, like, specific to, like, the different Balotone brands. So the Balotone is a lake in Hungary, and so a lot of these might not particularly be Hungarian, like, snacks, but a Balotone bar would be. And so it looks like it has, like, wafers and such in it. Very, very bumpy. What? Yeah, it's like a piece of poop. Kind of like a piece of poop. <laughs> well, it's gonna taste better than a piece of poop. I hope. I, I don't know what a piece of poop tastes like, but That's I good. wouldn't know. Ooh, very. Oh, very. Interesting. There's a caramel. Mm-hmm. And it's got like the, the bumps rice. are like peanuts. 
Well, are, are they, they like, rice? I think there's all rice things in here. No, that's definitely peanuts. If you look at the... No, no, no. It's definitely it looks peanuts. Like, it looks like there's all rice that, things in there, too. Could be. Yeah. Pretty good. Could Not I my be? favorite. It's just rice. So this was a staple for me and Eliza's uh, lunches. It's called a corny, corny bar. It's corny big. It's chocolate. It is... It's kind of like a, what would you say that is? I don't know. Like a muesli, which is kind of like a, a granola mix. A muesli? Muesli is like what, a uh, kind of granola. Mm. It's got a chocolate bottom. Oh, I gotta get here on No. Pretty good. It's like a little bar that you throw in your lunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like mm. it. I grew up with it. It's like a, it almost tastes like a Rice Krispie Treat. It's like a Rice Krispie Treat covered in chocolate on bomb. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a Rice Krispie, it's just like a different type of cereal. But mm -hmm. it almost tastes like a Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah. Mm. Are you going to finish it? I'm not going to finish it either. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're moving on to the ball of sticks. So, or like the strawberry pencils that Tesco is calling them. So, there's strawberry, and we've got rainbow, and then apple. What is your favorite one? <clears throat> My favorite one? Oh, what is this? Very weird consistency. It is. It's like very, kind of gritty. Kind of. Rainbow ones are pretty cool, though. Ooh. I mean, it's not bad, but the consistency gets me. Yeah. So it's got like... Why do they taste just like very similar? It's got like white in the middle. What is the white in the middle? No idea. Nothing. And then I think the apple ones are my favorites. Ooh. So there's one. Oh, the thing in the middle isn't white, it's cream. Or it just got tainted by the opposite color. Could be. I like it. Yeah. But the middle part throws yeah. me off. Couldn't eat like a, a whole bag of these mm -hmm. probably. Unless I'm like really hungry. You get sick. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't be good. Alright. Already not particularly mm -hmm. sure if we talked about the bacon bake rolls, but this is also mm -hmm. one of the things that me and Eliza would have in our lunches. But yeah, so it's like, it's kind of like the, kinda the like bites the, that, like in Chex Mix, like yeah, the the little brown bagel things. But these are bacon flavored, which are Ooh. mine and Eliza's favorite. They come in lots of different flavors. My roommate Jonah, or Jonah, as a lot of you guys know him, as he likes the pizza ones. Pizza ones are pretty good. But I like the bacon ones. These are really good. Yeah. For some reason, though, it reminds me of this good um, ramen that I had one time. I don't know why. <laughs> You're comparing it to ramen? No, a good ramen. Oh, uh, okay. So now we're going to do the Coke. And if you look at the bottles, they are... Very different. The American one is bigger because it goes by ounces. It's also slightly shorter. Slightly shorter. That's in Virginia and taller. Good observation skills. It's also very, very high pressure. See the caps getting pushed up. I took I'm it on the airplane. Yeah, I'm scared when he opens it. <laughs> but so this goes in ounces. So it go. It is 20 ounces. It doesn't even show the ounces on this. So this is 591 milliliters. Well, this one is just 500. But, so, are you afraid of this? Oh, it didn't explode. I don't know, But, so the reason that we're, we're trying these is the way that they make Coke is a little bit different. And so we're going to kind of taste test and see 
<clears throat> which one? Should we do the American one first, or? Oh, you're filling yours up a lot. I only did a little bit. Well, look at how much that one filmed. Ooh. Alright, so this one is the Hungarian. the Hungarian one, and then this one is the American one. Nope, that's nope. the Hungarian Still one. Still the Hungarian that's one. That's the American this one. This is the American one. <laughs> right. right. American first? Sure. It's a, it's a lot more bubbly if you see that. The American one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that also might be that you took that on the plane and it released a lot more carbonation the when you one. opened it. The American one's a lot more bubbly. Yes, it still has a lot more carbonation. Yours little blocks of carbonation when you open it because it got shaken a lot in travel. I guess it could be. Tastes like Coke? I think... Okay. I think this one's going to taste sweeter. It tastes the same to me. <laughs> no, no, no. This one is definitely... Maybe it's because of the carbonation, but this one doesn't taste as sweet. The American one doesn't taste as sweet because they don't use sugar in the drinks. Right. In, in, America, in America. It's high fructose corn syrup. They actually sugar. use sugar for... High fructose corn syrup is also sweet. Well, I know, but I think the sugar one tastes better. That's not going to work. Try it. <laughs> no, I'm just going to... Oh. It just got a little bit of the American one. You got it. The fusion. <laughs> I've created the perfect Coke. I think the European one tastes the best, but you say they, they taste, taste the, the same. same. I don't think so. This one's just flatter. No, it's not. It's literally bubbling up. Only difference is this one has more carbonation. No. <laughs> That's because it no, didn't go on a plane so. ride. I don't think so. I don't think so. Multiple plane rides. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't Since want Micah to. says he can taste the difference, I am going to test him. Choose one and drink. Choose one and drink. Choose one and drink. Mm. They're not filled that much, so take a little of Okay. Okay. This is the American one. You got it right. Wow. It, this one's sweeter. <laughs> I think you can just tell it because of the carbonation. No. You literally did the same amount. It looked the same. The tea next, but we have to wait for the water to boil. So, Emily's asking me I'm going to ask him questions. Content, maybe. Content, okay. Content. We're going to have to share some of your thoughts. What was your favorite Hungarian breakfast growing up? Okay, this is sound, it's, it's kind of weird, but I like... Uh, Cine Minis with Cinnamon Toast Crunch with the, the type of milk. Just like, I don't know, whenever I have uh, Cine Minis yeah. with the milk, I'm just like, like this, this is home. home. Yeah. 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 And like, I get, I get some <laughs> of that with the American milk and such, but it's just like, it, it brings back like good morning memories yeah. of just a Cine Mini bowl with like a straw on the side. They can, like, drink the milk out of... You put a straw in your bowl? No, no, no. Like, it would be a bowl that, like, comes with the... What? That's so cool. Whoa! Wait, so is the milk different? Tastes the milk different? is different everywhere, yeah. Different cows. Storm cows. <laughs> it's 
probably what they eat, actually. Do you have any yeah. more questions? <laughs> I guess you're in the food trend here. It's the theme. Um, what... Well, let's just go through all of them. What, what was your favorite lunch? Favorite lunch? Probably would just be... Uh, there's, like, a gemma. It's just, like, regular bakery bread. Mm-hmm. And then just, like, having ham and cheese on there. Yeah. Toasted or not toasted? Oh, I'd have it in a sack of lunch. I can't toast it. Uh, it's too bad. But. Well, you could if you tried really hard. Sneaking out and finding a toaster and toasting We had it. microwaves, but and sometimes it's <laughs> You would microwave it? Sometimes. I want the cheese to be melty. Desperate time. Desperate measures. But, All right. And then dinner. Dinner. Um. Not really sure. I mean, uh, I do love some good goulash, which is just traditional Hungarian stew. Mm-hmm. What's in it? So it's a stew, lots of different things. <laughs> well, yes, um, but like usually there's like like main ingredients in a stew, like the type of broth. Is it just chicken broth or like no? It's, beef it's broth? not really a broth. A, a, a beef broth. <laughs> it's not a pro- broth. Beef. But it's not really a broth. Oh, okay. Um, How's it not broth? Broth, like, but it's still broth. Because it's not broth consistency. What is it then? Almost like a sauce. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. What, what's in it? Potatoes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, beef. Beef? Carrots? What do you think? I don't know the analytics <laughs> of it, I just eat it. I'm sorry. I assume you knew what you like to eat. Oh no. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I normally just like the bread. Uh, I could eat the bread all the pogachas, that's my favorite. Dessert? No, I was gonna say oh. dessert, not bread. But now we know his favorite bread. Pogachas. Yeah. Uh Katesh Karach. What's that? It's a chimney cake where it's like Chimney? They wrap dough around like a like a wooden um like kind of Whole thing and then they like a rolling pin. Nah, yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. And then it it rotates over like a oh. a grill or whatever, and so it kind of like makes it, and then you put sugar and whatever you want on it. Okay, so it's like a churro, kind of consistency. Consistency. No, not at all. Or because then it? then it knocks off and so it's just it's just like a oh. a bread that looks like a circle. Uh, so <clears throat> I thought it spiraled. Yeah, so so the the dough is spiraled around the wooden thing. Okay, and they cut it into stuff. No, 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 because then they knock it off, and so then it's like a chimney. Oh, so it's one big. Yeah, thing. but it's called the kotesh karach in cool. Hungary. That's probably my favorite. We gotta look up how to make it. <laughs> we can. All right, so? so now we're gonna have tea. So we have current tea. You were going to spill. But I didn't. So it, it's it's like reddish. So it's a fruit tea. And then we have elderberry or bozo tea. You spilled. I did spill. That's okay. Sounds good. Bozo. It slightly reminds me of oolong at the same time, like kind of the more earthy tones. Um. I like my tea. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's gonna be it for the vlog. So, all right, another <laughs> vlog here with Emily, and yeah, thanks for tuning in, watching us taste a lot of things. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's it, folks. <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I need to say this. I need, okay. Looking back, what did I call Mars bars? A Milky Way. And that is because they are the exact same thing, just named differently. So I knew that. Plus, looking it up, they say that the Milky Way in the rest of the world, the one that we tried, is the equivalent to our Three Musketeers. And what did I say that it tasted like? Three Musketeers. Am I awesome. a candy master? Maybe. I don't know. I'd like to think things, though.